In this video, we're going to learn cross sit pivot get up, which is a really lovely, efficient way to get up and down from the ground. But we break it down into parts to be more strengthening and mobilizing as we go, starting with showing you the full movement. To be able to work up to that, we're going to break it down. Starting with the first stage, we're sitting in cross it, we've got our shin to the front. Whichever shin is in the front, the left hand side for me at the moment, I'm going to twist my body away from that to the right. Just watch what I'm doing, I'll demonstrate the movement. We're going to come round onto knee hand. We lean into the hands and we push into them to lift the bottom, pivoting on the balls of the feet so that the knees unwind. To return, we keep the toes tucked, we push into the hands and the toes to lift the knees, and then we twist the knees away from the direction we just turned. So we're always thinking of having a bit of an anchor hand that we're moving towards and then away from. And the key thing is the balls of the feet staying planted on the ground, trying to also lift the hip enough so that the knees are also in the air rather than dragging along the ground. And come back again. To do this on the other side, we need to swap our leg cross. So now we come into what might seem like the uncomfortable way to sit. So now my right shin is in front. So I'm going to twist over to the left, lean into the hands, lifting the bottom to untwist the legs, keeping the toes tucked, push into hands and toes to lift the knees and again, moving away from that other hand. Now we're going to add on getting up. So staying in the second position, when we come round into knee hand to land the knees, we're going to keep the toes tucked and we're going to come up using a deep hip hinge technique. I like to stop the hands a bit further away to create a runway for the hands. As we're going backwards, I want you to think about the bottom going as far back as you can before up. I also want you to think about landing the heels as soon as possible. So we walk back with hands. And whilst we're in motion, way before the hands get to here, we're going to be pushing into the hands to lift the knees, driving the bottom backwards, landing the heels until we find ourselves in a low squat position, pushing into the heels to unbend the knees and unhinge the hips. Reversing that, hinge the hips, bend the knees, and then there has to be a slight topple forward where we walk with our hands to safely drop the knees. Then to come back to an original cross sit position, keeping the toes tucked, we push into the hands and toes to lift the knees and then pivoting on the balls of the feet away to come back to the start. I'll now do that on the other side. So, shin in front is the left, twist therefore to the right. Lean into the hands to pivot on the balls of the feet. Hands further away and then walking them towards so that we can then push that bottom back and come up to standing. Trying to keep our feet and knees hip width. Returning by doing a lovely hip hinge and knee bend to lower down as far as we can before we shift forwards to drop the knees. Keeping those toes tucked, pushing into the hands, to lift the knees and twist away to come into the start position. Adding on, we're now going to do this without landing the knees. And this is where it becomes one more efficient pattern eventually. So what we want to do, we're going to start with two hands still. We land the hands and as soon as we're pushing down and twisting round, we then reverse back so that the bottom comes as far back as we can before we come up. Hinging again to come down, bending, and this time when we land the hands, we lean into the hand we're going to move away from without landing the knees, and then swivel the knees away again. Let's come over to the other side. So swapping the legs the other way. 
twisting round, lovely twist in the spine, leaning into both hands, but this time the knees are not landing and we're walking the hands to push the bottom backwards before we come up. And then hinge again, bending the knees, walking the hands forward but not landing the knees, instead leaning into the hand we're going to move away from, come down and pivot to our sitting position. Adding on to the last level. This is where we reduce, if you have the shoulder strength, to using just one hand. If this is too much for you, then stick with the two-handed version. Make sure that each time you progress through a level, you're practicing it, you're feeling nice and competent at that stage. So, leaning out, I'm going to lean onto one hand, and while I'm, I'm swiveling the knees, I am pushing back to come up. We're going to come down, hinge, bend, leaning into that hand and straight away swiveling those knees away. Coming over to the other side, swapping that leg configuration and off we go again. Making sure when you lean into the arm, the shoulder is nicely back so that the shoulder blades are coming together on the spine. Lean into the hand, pivoting away to push up. And then hinge, bend, lean into that hand to pivot away again. I hope this has been a useful video for you. Try all of the stages. It's a really good thing to practice each stage nice and slowly. The more time you have under tension, the more you're building that strength to get up and down from the ground. But then also work more smoothly and quickly so that it becomes a lovely, efficient pattern to get up. If you've enjoyed this tutorial then please like and subscribe and for much more find out more details either in the caption or at the end of this video about the Reclaim Movement membership where I offer live classes, replays and a bank of lots of videos just like this one to help you move naturally throughout your whole day.